Hi folks, this is Colin Tyler here at Woodridge Ford and today we're going to take a look at the SYNC 4 system available in the 2021 Ford F-150 and certain Ford models going forward. We're going to hop right in to this tutorial, take a look at what makes this system a bit different than before. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the SYNC 4 system. Now, there has been some big changes to the system. Uh, first off is one is you're going to have those over the air updates coming through. So as the system needs to update, so maps, navigation, that's all going to be pushed over the air as needed. Um, on top of that, we're going to be mainly focusing on the SYNC 4 system today. Uh, stay tuned, we will be doing videos for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and how to connect those and their wireless connections. Also, big thank you to everyone who's been watching our videos. Don't forget, like, subscribe, you know what to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing you're gonna notice in the Ford with the SYNC 4 system is this giant 12 inch screen. Again, you're getting that real tablet feel. So we're gonna start right now, taking a look at the buttons. So you've got your audio, phone, navigation, favorites. You're gonna have apps, so this will be able to update depending on what mobile apps you want. This can, when it connects to the phone, it will be able to pull in apps such as Waze that you'll be able to hook in here. Settings. So you will have your full settings options and we'll go through most of the settings that are in here. Take a quick look. And finally features. Now this is one of the big new add-ons. It's gonna have a lot of your driver assistance, zone lighting, towing, running power boards, and of course your owner's manual. This is where you're gonna set up your device. Now, one of the big new features, because of this great big screen, you are getting the split screen function. This view, will allow you to have quick access to these cards, showing off all the different functions from trips, navigation, eco behavior. So just one quick press and you can see the breakdowns. Say we wanna take, go back to our navigation screen. You can always have that access. So you always have the information you need at the palm of your hand. You just do a quick push here and it's going to switch out the menu and bring that up full. You want to go back another push of the button and it'll take the card that's here and put it into the main screen. Now, big thing, we're back to the audio. One of the key features, you are going to get that Sirius XM 360 functionality, which is really great. So what this means is you can stop, pause live radio. You can find related stations. Of course you have, quick access to your AM and FM down here or any pre-programmed channels you want. You can set your reminders here. Easy browse menu. You can find what's for you. Music with your subgenres to find what you like. Sports broken down, of course, by the sport. News and this is one of the ones I really like is the traffic and weather. So this is going to start to fill out as time goes by and as more cities get added. Right now, you just have some of the big places down in the US. Again, this will start to fill out later on. And of course, talk. Now we are going to go back. And as I said before, right now, we've got this on pause. We aren't going to turn up the radio again due to licensing issues. but. If I want to go forward, find another song, a couple presses of the button, can go forward, see all the songs that I've missed until we're live. I can pause, rewind. If I really like that song, I can get in. Another real nice feature there with the live is that related. So it's going to find related content that is really going to appeal to me. Again, you're getting a lot of nice open stations there. So next is our phone connection. Phone connection, again, has been made real simple in the F-150. We'll be going into this a bit more in our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto videos. It's literally just the press Search of a button. Search your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And it will walk you through the steps so you can discover other Bluetooth devices if you're having trouble. 
I'm going to hit continue. So it's now going to search for devices. You can go now into your menu. Select Delete. one of the devices found by Sync. And there you see our devices come up. One quick Confirm press. Confirm that the pin displayed on Sync matches the pin displayed on your device. Our pins match. Quick press the pair and a yes. Simple as that. For your safety, please stay alert to change in road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Now you're also going to be able to turn on your 911 assist. I'm not going to turn that on right now just to make sure we don't cause any issues. And of course, with the phone, you are seeing the wireless Android auto support of my phone coming up here. For now, I'm just going to hit enable and I am going to disconnect that in two shakes here. So we're just going to wait for it to connect as I'll show you right there. It's going to go through it. I'm just going to set that up later because we'll do that in another video. If you want to remove your phone, you can just go to your phone list, click it, click disconnect. It disconnects. Trash can up in the corner here is going to remove it. And again, from here, you'll also see those connect to Android Auto and what will be connect to Apple CarPlay if you have an Apple device. So we're going to remove my Pixel. So this is going to be a nice, fresh vehicle. Simple, easy, clean system. Next is the navigation. Again, you can be accessed through this button down here, through your center console, or through the cards on the right here. Very simple, very easy to find. I'm gonna leave in zone lighting so we don't lose that. If you're not driving, you're gonna press this button to the left here. You're gonna go menu and you can choose your map orientation, voice commands, traffic on map, weather functionality. Now, right now it will require activation through the Ford Pass app. That is a very simple process. Essentially, you're going to set it up on your phone. It's going to connect to your system and it's going to pull it in. So what's really nice there is you're also going to get weather and traffic reports coming through to the vehicle. One of the other nice big features is the avoid on route. So you can set to avoid highways, tall roads, tunnels, country borders. So if you're like us and you're up here in the Great White North, Maybe uh, crossing over into Montana isn't in the cards for you. I personally don't know why. Montana's a lovely country. Or ferries. Again, if you're maybe out on the West Coast or down in Washington State, this is going to be a really nice feature for you. We're going to go back. And we're going to go more settings so you can see. You do have routing and map preferences where you can do the automatic reroute to avoid traffic. Again, quick press of the button and it will, once it's set up with your Apple CarPlay, when it senses traffic, it will automatically reroute you around it. This is a really nice feature because it is pulling from a couple different mapping apps. So you are going to have a really good idea of what you're going to have to deal with on the road. The carpool. So if you've got, again, you're the person who's driving. Again, lovely vehicle to drive. You want to be the driver in the carpool now. You can turn that on and it's going to add those carpool lanes in for you to give you a bit of extra. This vehicle is designed to make your commute great. 3D map, you can turn on if you want 3D landmarks, 3D buildings. It is going to change depending on the area you're in. You can do your preferred route type or breadcrumbs. Now, what a breadcrumb is, it's going to lay out where you've been before. So we're going to choose on, go back. And if we were to drive, you'd then see the breadcrumb following it. So that's under our more settings. You can do trailer routing. So you can optimize for trailer routes. You can go into your towing menu and you can add trailer. Again, select active trailer. 
There's a nice couple redundancies in here, so it's going to hop back between the two. And we'll get more into trailer towing in a minute. But we're now going to hop back to the main screen. This is where you're going to search. So say I'm looking for Woodridge Ford, I can start typing it in. Nice thing about this is going to work with building names. So we have Woodridge Ford Lincoln here, or it will work with the address. So if you're looking, maybe since we're in Canada, we're already at Woodridge Ford. Maybe I want to take our uh, videographer Braden back there for a nice Tim Hortons. So it's going to find the nearest one. We're going to do a click and we can see because this is Canada, there's one just down the road from wherever you are. We see it's going to take one minute. We can look for alternate routes. We can favorite this if we want to go at a later time. Just quick press of a star and it's now favorited. We can also choose to avoid 4x4 four four routes. Now this is going to keep you off, again, those dirt roads, places, I guess since we're in Canada, it is one of those things that is going to come in handy every now and then. Especially when we're, uh, you're trying to save, uh, what is it, Brain, about every uh, square liter of maple syrup to the moose? I think it's sort of the igloo. Something igloo in there? Something igloo in there. I, I like that. I like that. So now we've seen that. These are all also... The ability to do this is also through the steering wheel and voice control. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. If I hit the right button, but you will be able to talk to the device, set this up, set up your navigation while you're on the road. Really nice hands-free feature. Going into our favorites menu, this is where you're going to be able to sit, set up some of the other apps and options that would be a little bit deeper down. So things like the zone lighting, towing, this favorite will allow you the ability to choose what you want to access. So if you're a person who they heavily wants to use your vehicle hotspot, you can just click that and that's going to now assign it to your favorite menu. So when we go back, we see the vehicle hotspot it's on. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit here. So next is our apps. You can find more mobile apps. So right now you see our device. There's no device connected. If we connected a phone, it's going to search for apps that can be used with the vehicle. One of the key ones is Google's Waze, a really nice app to keep real time traffic. And again, you can always look for Woodridge Ford on it. More, and this is another big thing. You do get all the help screens here that are gonna guide you if you need help. Settings. System updates, easy to find. As you see, you have automatic updates on. It's gonna immediately, when you are connected to Wi-Fi, it's gonna download those updates for you. You can also schedule when updates are on. So. Say you're only connected during a certain time, or maybe if you're in a place where you have variable bandwidth and you want to make sure it's doing it during a downtime, like 3 a.m. in the morning, you can schedule your updates. And next is our update details. So it's going to check for updates and it'll tell us our system is up to date. If it needed an update, all the information would be there. Next is 9-11 Assist. Going to be very careful i'm not going to turn it on once turned on if you need assistance again from 911 pretty self-explanatory turn it on in case of emergency it's going to automatically connect you mobile apps you can again if you're connected turn on android apps via bluetooth just quick press of a button and it will bring all the information through to the center infotainment center Display, nice feature. Say you, there's a couple different options. One, you can do the calm screen. So just nice, calm, no distractions, quick press and you're out of it. You can also do display off. So you just don't want a screen on, you just want to focus on the road. You're good to go. I, I think our, our cameraman brain's giving you a wave of hello. As you can see him in the back. Oh, oh, 
We're gonna turn that off again so you can do it for off or wave. There he is. So maybe someone in the back's doing their makeup. You got a perfect mirror for them. So there's also your brightness controls. So very simple, take it down, take it up. Looks good, especially in daylight. It does handle front light coming onto it very well. Uh, just quick press to reset. Now there is the auto mode, so you can choose whether you want it to change between day and night, whether you want it just daytime or whether you want it nighttime. Again, nighttime screen has that soft blue, looks really nice. We're going to set it back to auto. And that's another thing you can either get back by pressing the settings menu or the button in the top right corner there. Voice controls. So if you want, you can turn on, listen for a wake cord. So we see that's our wake cord there. We have it set up and I will say the wake cord in a few secs. You can turn on an advanced mode. And this will give you a few fewer prompts. If you know what you're doing, you don't want those extra prompts. You can turn on and off your voice command list. You can turn on and off your phone confirmation. And of course you do have your voice command help if you need more. So now you see we have listen for the wait word. I'm gonna go back to our navigation. Okay, Ford. Okay, Ford. And now it's listening. So I can say things like FM 9. Please try again. FM 92.9. Tuning to FM 92.9. And it automatically jumps to the radio station. So you know, I haven't pressed any buttons. It's completely hands-free, similar to what you would expect from your smartphone. Really nice smart infotainment center here. Hopping back into our settings. Just for now, I'm gonna turn that wake word off to make things a bit easier. So uh, she won't be interrupting us throughout this. Valet mode. So we aren't gonna set that up right now, but if you hit yes, you'll be able to lock down the system with a four digit pin. So if you're giving it off to a valet, you know your vehicle and your information is staying safe. Vehicle hotspot, and as we said before, so you can set up a vehicle hotspot again through Bell in Canada, a um, variety of different carriers. The vehicle can be used as a full 4G hotspot that's going to be able to pull data so you can connect phones, keep the little ones entertained in the back. Nice thing here is data usage. So you'll be able, once you're connected to the Ford Pass app, you're going to be able to control everything from that app. You're going to be able to control, set up your data usage. So you're not having your kids go over the cap. So if you have a four gigabyte bandwidth limit, you can set it to cut off at that four gigabytes. You have your settings. So you can, so this is where you can set up your password, your network name, your security type, you can see the MAC address for this vehicle and the frequency band. You can go in, you can do some editing if you want. Now you can switch between a 4.2 or 2.4, sorry, and a five gigahertz connection. Very easy, very simple, very clean. You can also turn whether you want that hotspot visibility on or off, stop people from trying to get in there. Easy, simple push. And we're back to our settings menu. So final thing here, we have our personal profiles. So you can actually set up a profile with radio station presets. So if you're the wife or both driving this vehicle, you can go in here where you can hit, yes, I want to set up the profile. You can enter your name. And you can do this for a couple different people. So you're not fighting over which radio stations are set to preset, it personalizes the truck to you. We're gonna go back. 
And as you also see here, these were a couple of the other options. You can go in, check your sink navigation. Again, those were all the options we looked at before. You can go into sound, so the tone settings. Set your radio, what you want, your balance fade, all these sound modes. One of the big things you're gonna wanna keep an eye on is when you first get your truck, you're going to want to go into the settings. You're going to want to make sure it's on surround. If you have that nine speaker B&O sound system in the vehicle, this is how you're going to get the music out of the headrest. You're going to have that all encompassing audio. A lot of the times it is set by default to stereo. So you're going to want to find that one right there. Going back, again, add phone. We showed you connectivity. You can go through, see your connected vehicle features. Bluetooth, wireless, manage networks. Radio settings, simple to find. You can turn on the FM HD radio if you want, or radio text if you don't want to know. You can see what preset pages you have. You can set between one to six. Simple. Final things we're gonna show you here are the features. Starting with the driver assist. And here is where you'll be able to set up how you want your cruise control to act, whether you want it to be adapt normal, adaptive, or intelligent. Again, adaptive is going to change. Intelligent is taking into account everything that's going on in the road. Your tolerance, so you can choose the number of kilometers that you want in tolerance, so minus one, going up. Lane centering, you can turn that on or off. Next one is your speed limit assist. You can turn on speed warnings and then add. So right now, if I set this, if I go five kilometers over the speed limit, I'm gonna get a warning on the main center in front of me here. I'm gonna turn that off just for now. Cause where we're going, we don't need to worry about speeds. The uh, next thing we have here is our lane keeping system. We can choose whether the mode we want it in, whether we want alert, aid. So what that will do is if I start going into the next lane, it's gonna start pulling me back. Or if we want alert plus aid. So what that'll do is it will give me a vibration saying, hey, you're going over into the next lane. And then it's gonna start pulling me back. I'm gonna set it back to alert for now. Lane keeping intensity, so I can turn it up. And right now I've set it to high, so my steering wheel, I'm getting a big vibration from. I can go low if I just want something a bit softer. We're gonna leave it at normal for now. Pre-collision assist. Again, it's all activated. This is part of that Ford Safety 360. You will stop the vehicle if it's sensing a crash or if it senses someone running out. You can also set up now your rear view camera, so your park. So you can do your advanced park aid. So again, as you see here, you can turn that off. So, and rear camera display. Then turn, you can turn that on. So again, it's gonna do, when you shift out of reverse, it's gonna put a little bit of a delay onto it. And turn that off because you don't need a delay, but it's a nice feature to have there. Blind spot information, you parkade sensors, whether you want them on or off, cross traffic alert. So again, warning you if somebody's coming that you may not be seeing you. We've all been at that state where we're about to turn. Vehicles pulled a bit too far out and we can't see what's coming from his side. It's a really nice feature, keeps you safe. Reverse brake assist, driver alert, all here. Going back, zone lighting, easily accessible. Just quick press, turn off, turn on. I can turn on all zones around the vehicle. All the lights have just turned on. Turn off, can choose which zones I want. And just press to turn off zone lighting. Power running boards. I can always have them active. So there is a kick switch on the outside. I can have that always on to bring them out, or if I only want to do it when I'm close to the vehicle, I can set it to only while unlocked. Approach detection, 
we can turn that on. And what that will do is, when I've got the approach detection on, it'll sense, it'll pull out the mirrors, and it'll get the vehicle ready for me. Running board modes, I can always have them on. If I hit out, you probably just heard a nice sound through my microphone. That's the boards coming out. I can have it auto with an auto timer if I want for how long I want them out. And finally, the owner's manual. Now, you no longer have that big vehicle that's big enough to kill a rat. You've got all your information easily accessible in the system. With multitudes of modes, if you're a video person, real visual, you can go through, find the different ones. If you're looking for something particular, maybe you want to know something about the engine, type it in, hit enter. As you see, even with my terrible spelling, it's going to bring up stuff about block heater precautions. So I can learn about all that, easily accessible. Go back. If I want videos, press there. Learn about the courtesy wipe. Just takes a second to load. Press a button. We get to know our vehicle. I just washed my windows. Why are my wipers wiping again? The wipers on your vehicle have an interesting feature that you have not EFB ASAP. And it's just as simple as that. Okay, so this has been our look at the SYNC 4 system inside the 2021 Ford F-150. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Hopefully we'll be able to help you out. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, visit us at woodridgeford.com. You know the full spiel. I'm on my way. I'm going to grab myself a sweet tea and go out in this uh, lovely Ford Transit here that we have a full lift on. So you take care now.